Namaste everyone. Namaste. I will be discussing about my research proposal, upcoming research proposal, proposal which I, am, I will be performing under the supervision of uh, Dr. Niraj Dilal, our associate professor of Central Department of Physics too. A special thanks to our head of department, Dr. Mm -hmm. Prakash Niraj Dilal, for being here. And thank you all of you, my friends, for being with me and listening to the proposal. Then with the Permission. I am asking for permission to start the proposal, sir. The topic of my research proposal will be, will be study of correlation between X-ray and gamma ray emissions from blazers. Blazer PKS two one five five three zero. This will be the name of a blazer that we will be under study. There is a TU logo that I, we are being studying under. Uh, of MSc dissertation proposal, Central Department of Physics, Institute of Science and Technology, Kitipur Nepal. Now I have mentioned my supervisor on the left, supervisor Dr. Niraj Dilal, Associate Professor, Central Department of Physics, and that's my name. Uh, that I am performing my proposal by Raghu Jamani, Central Department of Physics, and my role number is 80. Let me change the slide first. Abstract. Let me discuss about this simple abstract or the summary of the conclusion of my topic. The blazer under the study would be PKS2155304. The process deals with the collection and evaluation of the data obtained from the latter discussed instruments. The latter discussed instruments would be involved in methodology. The data collected would be the publicly available ones. Different kinds of variations and frequencies of different particles are studied under this research. This is our abstract, the short topic of my abstract. Then there I have mentioned the outlines along with the subtopics as introduction, theory, literature review, methodology, and objectives. I will be discussing each of these in a little bit. Let me start. We all can see I have addressed a picture of a blazer of somewhere I got on the internet. Uh, I have put the source over here. Picture courtesy goes to SciTech Daily. I have copied or, or downloaded it from that side. We can all see how much beautiful it is. Let me introduce by. Uh, let me give you an introduction about this. Blazer is a region at the center of a galaxy that emits extremely powerful jets of radiation in the direction of the Earth. That is, the direction of the of the Earth de, uh, defines whether it is a quasar or a blazer. If it is the direction of the jet is. Uh, being emitted somewhere, then we prefer it as a blazer. If it is directed towards the observer, we prefer it as a blazer. Then, these blazers are a form of active galactic nuclei, AGM, objects that researchers know are prolific producers in large amounts of radiation. The radiations are the uh, waves from radio to high energy frequencies, all that appear in cosmology are the main source. The main source is the blazer. We can say that. Nextly, blazers have been an important topic in the field of astronomy and high energy physics. They are also termed as AGM, meaning active galactic nuclei, because their luminosity being concentrated at the very center. The luminosity or the brightest feature of the blazer is concentrated in this very center, as I have discussed here. They have continuous spectrum from radio to gamma rays, all kinds of all sorts of electromagnetic spectrum. And I have given the picture for this to site XL2. Next is theory. I have presented my theory as the study of a blazer involves the study of nature of particles being emitted from these jets and angle of, angle of these propagated jets. Since we intend to study the correlation between the X rays and gamma rays being emitted from it, we need to understand them first. To determine the correlation between X rays and gamma rays, first we need to understand what are X rays and what are gamma rays. Let me give you a short video about, about it. As we know, X-rays are generally emitted from fast moving electrons accelerated through a certain potential difference. We assume the production of, on a blazer accordingly. Similarly, we can relate it. Also, as we all know, gamma rays are produced by the hottest and biggest explosions in the exotic universe. I prefer this as naturally occurring events. We require the tools to detect the rays with high reliability. It means we need a high level instruments or the tools that are software that we are studying. Next part in the outline will be literature review. Let me give you a brief literature review about this. Blazer is not only today's topic, it has been under study of many researchers for a long time. Many studies have been done throughout the years about the emitted particles from blazers too. Uh, it means 
in today's time also deserts are being studied too much we know that identity physics are being studied widely globally then many of them were able to show a certain relation between the emitted particles though blazers were in concern through a long time the high energy blazers or gamma ray blazers have been found on ccro recently after the formation of cc compton gamma ray observatory ccro means i forgot to mention the full form of ccro over here various attempts are still being done to know the reason and nature of the emitted particles this was our interesting literature review let me go to the next slide methodology how are we going to perform the experiment the research will be completely based on the data obtained from the following instruments slash telescope whether we prefer the instruments or telescopes and the two telescopes that we will be uh, collecting data from will be xmm newton observatory and formula uh, i will discuss about this in the next slide uh, let me give you a brief introduction about it this uh, this xmm newton observatory uh, would be used to study the x rays emitted from a blazer and the formula that would be used to study the gamma rays from a blazer next i have given the site i have downloaded it from european space agency and uh, the site of for me itself for nasa the software that i will be using will be sas science analysis software and formula tools science analysis software will be used to analyze xmm newton data and formula tools will be used to analyze formula data this means it is related to x rays and it will be related to gamma rays the data is from x rays and gamma rays next one objectives what will be our main objectives will be to find the correlation between the x rays and gamma rays from a blazer if exists this gives the topic itself and next one objective would be to find out the nature of the particles being emitted from the power source this will be our two main objectives over here we will be studying much more further my work plan i have mentioned my work plan over here uh, it will take almost three to four months for literature review which i have already started and literature review and proposal writing the proposal writing has been almost finished only it needs to be approved by all of you respected teachers then uh, i need uh, three to four months for the time of literature review together with this i will be going i will be using this uh, softwares provided by my supervisor and all the teams uh, for up to 5 to 6 months then i will be uh, calculating and uh, collecting data from uh, for up to 9 to 10 months from 5 to 6 months after completing my uh, software familiar familiarization then uh, it will take almost uh, 11 to 12 months exactly i have studied about it almost time it will take almost uh, up to 12 months for paper publishing and together i will be writing thesis and uh, documentations for my last uh, defense and this much uh, for my presentation so i'm discussing the other presentation or not sir so it's my proposal uh question sir uh, sir uh, software you were talking about software i'm sorry i was little bit late what type of software are you going to use uh it would be i don't i exactly done that and i get what to be paid or not paid but the data is are publicly available ones so i think that would be free or that would be available to normal students or researchers then you don't need to use any software that is commercial one Uh, I don't think I have not discussed it about it. I think it will be free. Okay. It must be. It's fine. It's not. Oh uh, yes. So, so actually, I shouldn't have been the one to make comments. But anyway, so it's always there are you know places where you can improve your stuff. Yeah. So uh, for example, in this literature review uh, section, uh, so you could have this there in the papers that you. Mentioned in the proposal, so so that thing uh, you know like that, that's missing and uh, uh, so anyway so yeah good luck yeah so uh, you, you, you uh, there are you know, places where you you could have made it much better but we are insisting you to you know wait today. Then defense. Oh okay. yeah yeah yeah. So it's optic yes.